Alright guys, I uh gonna make some candle holders today for a friend of mine to give to a lady for Christmas. And uh just getting started on start off by, you know, saying I'm trying to shoot this video by myself, so I apologize for the wide angle and I don't get to post a lot of videos because uh, I don't have uh people ready available to wanna film me, uh but uh or to have time. But uh so I'm just gonna you know, this started off to be a blacksmithing channel, and I wound up doing a bunch of other stuff, like rebuilding hydraulic rams and stuff, which I have another interesting video coming up about rebuilding the rams on the tractor. But uh, I'm going to uh, attempt to do this video pretty wide range, but you'll see the finished product when it comes out. I pre-cut everything, and uh, so hopefully this won't be a forever video, and I will try to edit it. I just don't know how to do that yet. But right now, I'm just building a fire in the forge, so. and that noise is the blower, of course, for the forge. So you guys that are used to people with all this editing equipment, you can uh, apologize for that. You're gonna have to just, you know, hopefully you're willing to listen to it. So thank you. All right, guys. So I got the forge lit and uh, cut these discs out. Grilled them already off camera. I'm gonna do my best to make the little cups that the, after I drop it a few times. I'm sure to make the little cups that the candles fit in. I'm just gonna put it in a on this little ring I made. I'm gonna work it down. Just take my time and basically tap it. Could use a bigger hammer, maybe even this rounded hammer, but actually that fits in there quite nice. So I'll get it warm again. This thin metal cools off really fast. So. I already done one pretty much. You can see it. dish to catch the wax this is on the top part of the candle. I'm gonna go ahead and get it hot again. It does have some discoloration of what galvanized the reason. Don't breathe in galvanized smoke. I know somebody's gonna post on there. Galvanized smoke can kill you. Well not necessarily but it'll make you definitely wish you never breathed it in. If breathing is the word. Breathe in. Breathe it in. Yeah. Just gonna work it around. And this hammer don't quite fit in that ring. I'm gonna grab a ball peg hammer. Do a little more tapping. And it's hot, so. I like to hold it. That's on it. I know that's a mistake. Thin as it is, probably because this is cold. But I needed to get the galvanized off anyway. So I keep chasing this little device around. One day I'm going to build a jig like Roy Crescent or Ironworks did for his leaves. One day I'll build a to uh, accommodate these rings, to hold these rings in place. And make sure to get all that nasty galvanized up there. Best I can anyway. You gotta be careful with these cold forges too, they'll burn metal up. I know we're trying to get galvanized off, but man, this stuff, it'll burn metal up in a heartbeat. So be careful, pay attention. Don't put too much, too many irons in the fire, as they say. Never understood what that meant when my grandfather used to say it to me until I started this hobby. 
this hobby, you learn two things. You learn what strike while the iron's hot means. And you learn what don't put too many irons in the fire means. pause this off camera find the center pre-drill a couple of probably quarter inch holes so I can attach these bars to the bottom here and a lot of people say well you should tint them down and rivet them or whatever I'm gonna weld them this is a gift it's not something I'm trying to do an actual reenactment on so we're just gonna I'm doing some welding today we're gonna weld these and uh, I am going to swedge these in down here where it fits in the bottom of the candle holder that we're going to make out of this. I'm going to flare the end out, swedge it down, and attach it to the top of those hot rings that I almost picked up to show you. We'll do that in a little bit, but right now, let me go pre-drill these holes. All right, now I'm going to get these hot and burn the paint off. Again, don't breathe it, okay? do is uh, probably crown them just a little, like dish them a little bit so that when they sit on the table, they'll sit like this, obviously the bigger ones, and then uh, put a little recess in the bottom so that when I weld it, it's not exactly smooth, it doesn't rock. So that's the goal for that. I'm still going to hit these with a wire wheel, make sure all that yellow knives look and stuff. Let me get this paint burned off of here. Get them warm. That smells pretty nasty. That's again, I don't breathe it. You can help it. Type situation. Breathing it probably make you sick. I'm outside. Wind's blowing. If y'all can see or not, but you don't see smoke coming off of that forge hardly at all. So, I'm, uh, but I can smell it. I'm not. I don't want to be close enough that I can smell it. So I'm just gonna burn the paint off at a distance, and I'll come back and I'll dish it a little bit. Probably use this. This is a junkyard tow hook off of. I think it's a Kenworth. It has these big round. So loose. Uh, good find in the junkyard. Again, you see me with a couple pieces in the fire. I'm watching them. This forge ain't no joke. It'll burn them up. 
can't. I could be doing multiple things while firing the gas storage over there, but it's louder and uh, harder to deal with as far as the videos. So, uh, but you can forget about stuff in the gas storage and not burn it up like you do in cold storage. goal here is to get them bright red just to get the, all the coating off. I want all the coating off. By the way, you saw me tapping on this anvil with this um, in the hardy hole. That shouldn't do that. Don't leave anything in your hardy hole while you're tapping or hammering especially. If you're tapping, it ain't going to hurt that bad, maybe. But if you bang your knuckles on that thing while you're hammering, it's going to hurt. clean there, like the bare metal. So what I'm going to do is just lay it flat, try to get an even heat all the way around. I left these off scene. Alright, so we're going to brush it. And yeah, I know y'all can't talk to me. Brush it a little bit here. Kind of look at it. I can still see that I did leave a little rough edge. on there to stay, so we'll deal with it any way we need to. I got access to the same black cabinet in the shop if I need it. See it's still blistering up even after all that heat. They were not galvanized, they were that old red iron. Thank you. 
fish knives. The way you can do that best is put it there. A couple light blows in the center. She's sitting pretty. They want to kind of make sure they match. This is going to be a set of two. It's going to be a set they kind of need to look at. Unless you're going for something that doesn't look alike. This stuff is thin. Usually cools off pretty fast, but it just made me into a liar. It's pretty hot. I want to look at them. Kind of look alike. Kind of, or it's supposed to be rustic, organic, however you want to look at it, say it. So, for those, we're going to call that good. We're going to let them cool. Probably cool a little easier, they look stacked on top of each other. Now the fun part, the part I dread. I'm going to make these. I built this out of a lug wrench. I stole this idea from John Switzer, I think. And, uh, he chases these around the anvil. I just tucked that in there. And a uh, little clear this out on here. So, what we'll start by doing is picking in that looks nice. And we'll get that hot. And again, it's painted. I know it's painted. Don't cry. I'm going to eat some of this taco. Well, I'm going to come back in a minute after it's done warming up so y'all don't watch me eat a taco. All right, I should have thought this through a little better. I don't have anything to hold these short palms to. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is use these channel locks. I'll get that in pretty hot down there. And, uh, it's pretty red. I'm gonna brush it a little bit. This will be the actual candle holder cup, so what we're going to do is put it on here, that down here. Started to flare out. Of course, it's pretty thick, you don't want to flare it out. Ground forward, baby. 
they got quarters. Uh, I put them on the face and just go ahead and bring them on back some more. <coughs> like that. I will hit it on the sander and make sure it doesn't have sharp edges. I know it's a gift. You didn't get the old man half price on them. I'm not going to send up something on this thing. I 
guys, even he, I think, is key in this uh, deal here. So, put this in the switch. First time I'll grab it by hand, next time, not so much. And, uh, Do that. Don't 
stick a pipe in the water pointed toward your face or anybody else in your shop because it'll blow hot, steaming, boiling water all over you or whoever you pointed at. <clears throat> the best idea is try never to quench pipe. But if you are going to quench it, be extremely careful. Maybe wrap a towel around the end that's facing up. Uh, obviously, if you're trying to cool the other end of it, uh, that ain't gonna work for you. So just make sure it's not pointed toward you. It's dangerous. I will say one thing for sure. I'm sure this rain is interfering with the video uh, audio. <coughs> I apologize for that, but I gotta five to seven day a week regular job so I uh, can only make videos when I can make them and I had no idea actually it was even more rain today but it is still 70 degrees a week before Christmas in Texas so uh, you know kind of welcome to rain sorry for the video slacked up a little bit. Alright, so you guys are going to miss a little bit of this, but it's repetitive because I did get this one down to where I think I'm happy with it. I'll cut it off. Um, maybe angle grinder, maybe fan saw, whatever. I'm going to cut it off where it's neck down. I'm just going to weld it to the washer. Uh, if I was going to, or the round plate, if I was going to uh, try to bolt it, I would go with the heavier walls pipe. Get it smaller in diameter without crushing. But you can thread it and or rivet it easier. But I'm gonna reach inside with the big and just pack it on there good. I'm not that worried about it being quarter inch exactly. Uh, but I should have tried to shoot for quarter inch exactly. Practicing on this thin little stuff is good as practice. I gotta get this done. Promise to ship out tomorrow or Monday. So. And I didn't get her done. Right? might have a tendency to hang up, break the blade, whatever. Uh, so, I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and try to use it with an angle grinder. Oh. Got our end a little long. Be careful on that end. Burn that end, I'm gonna be cranky. That's the second end on this. Here we pass the other end up. My wheel, we need to pass the other end up. Can listen to that. So. Well, it's still raining, but not as bad. I switched to this guillotine tool. Try to see if I can get a little more crunch from my butt. But that spring puller, it does a real nice job. I, I just want to see. I bought this thing a while back. Uh, Use it once. Didn't love its quality. I won't mention where it came from. Uh, you know, the guy is a real good guy. I believe he tried to do everything he could, but I mean, I was been in the game a long time, and you should know that these guys have to be hardened, hardened a bull or hardened a steel and tempered. Or he set these things with model steel and tried to convince me that you know he could toughen it up by quenching it, which is it a little tougher than model steel? I don't know. Might be, but it ain't no 4140 or F7. On the other hand, it was very economical to buy. And if that's the point, it would be an economical model everybody can afford to buy it from. But, at the same time, I'm going to go back to the frame floor because this is very square. Uh, the first one is a lot rounder. And I believe that's because of that frame floor. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and bad mouth the guy, you know, but at the same time, you know, I use this this top once, and that's the result. Um, you can keep redressing it or whatever. It's supposed to be a tool builder, not a tool.
wouldn't know that. So, I think the last thing I'm going to do is get the tips of these up. I'm going to use that DSP tool to try to bring them down to where they'll the hole in that door. I do keep calling it a washer. Full disclosure. Small one may or may not be a fender washer. It is. Uh, larger, larger ones I cut out. Uh, but the smaller ones I never fender washer. Uh, make your life easy if you can. You know, if you can buy them without galvanizing them, it'd be perfect. I'm going to change the tooling out of this. Uh, I want to be Smith and Magician here. Huh? Try to get down to the I feel is appropriate for this job. Face the hammer instead of the tool at the top. Sure. That's what I need. Which, by the way, is what he heard me. the rain well in between the rain sorry about the video noise and all that but here's what they look like all finished up Let's see if I can stand behind the camera and show you I just welded them um, together like I said so um, and they're not a hundred percent straight and they're not supposed to be you know I didn't want them to look store made he wanted an antique rustic homemade look so uh, you can't really, you won't see the weld anywhere on them except for, you know, 
know if you look down the holes you might see it but uh so that's the video guys uh, i'm gonna heat them up to their dark black and then uh put the johnson's face white finish on them and uh send them out to east texas uh, so anyway there you go candle holders for a blind guy hope he don't burn his house down <laughs>